I am Selena Johnson, uh, better known as Fifi Ashland. <laughs> That's, that's my drag name. But uh, my uh, stage name is Selena Johnson, so you can better know me as Selena Johnson. The best memory of my career is probably when I got signed to Jive Records. I really thought that that was gonna be something. Well, wait, that was the worst memory. Let me go back. The best memory of my career, hmm. You know what, I think um, being able to release my first album as a national recording artist was a huge memory. So, and being number one on Heat Seekers on the Billboard charts, that was a big thing for me. So that, I could say that's probably the, it should be anyway. I had so many great memories, but that's probably the best memory that I, I had in my career. Some of the things that I currently have going on right now is the production of Chapter 5, Underrated, which is the name of my upcoming album. I just released my single. I just shot the video called A Boss, and um, I just signed a deal with uh, Shauna Kiwa. Okay, let's talk about the video real quick. So what's going on with the edit of the video? So I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very excited. Um, uh, the video is it's from the beginning. I mean, it yeah. takes two weeks, though. But I'm, I'm, Concerned. So that like the Evelyn really called you. She did. She didn't call me. Oh, she, she was see. talking to Ojo. Right. And um, he, she, she like you with that video. She with that video. You know, I talked. I talked to her about a shirt. No, I told her that the shirt was a, that the shirt was. But she was a non motherfucker fact and that I bought the shirt. <laughs> see, I, that Tammy is my girl. And I, I love Tammy. So Tammy is my girl. Uh, my latest video was for my single, a boss, and uh, I shot it in Atlanta. And my brother flew in. Yes, my brother is Chad Johnson, Ocho Cinco, known as Ocho Cinco Pepe. I'll call Chi Chi and find out if she can Wait, do I have my phone? change your flight. And I have to call to confirm Angie's going to be here. And I got to make sure that Lizzie and Monique forgot the location. And I'm going like crazy. So, Selena, I rely on you to help me through this. Because you handle your business and you... I don't have to worry about telling 86 times what time to be there. Anybody who's gonna get in the car or get on a plane, you just. She's a great person as far as music is concerned. But I just think that she's a bit out of touch of reality. <laughs> we gonna figure it out. And I don't think, you know, I think Angie No realizes that at the end of the day, this is a great show, this is a great project, this is a great idea for all of us to come together for this record and for this tour. And I think, you know, if she got good management. I think that because she's been in this industry for so long and has been raised in an industry that is full of snakes, liars, deceit, all kind of foolishness. And like what I like to call Hollywood, uh, a lot of people just act like they so cold in this industry and they're, they're like, they ain't doing nothing. But because you're surrounded by people like that, that devalue you to, to value themselves, to increase the value with themselves, you start to become the very thing that you really don't like. And none of us can determine where she is or where she at in her mind. So we can't say it's ego trip, but we don't know. I mean, Angie got, like I said, she got issues just like we all got issues. She got issues too. So let's just take it, you know, easy and not so hard on her. Okay, how many, how many times do we have to take it? It don't matter. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, how many, how many instances do we have to make excuses for? as long as we need to. Ooh, you, know, you can't. For her to no, 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 no. This is the very thing that as women in the industry that's male dominated, we're trying to fight past that. We already be feeling like we ugly. We already be feeling like we're not adequate. We already feel like we can't, you know, we already have our, are things from record label execs just looking you straight in the face and being like, you fat as hell, you need to lose 20 pounds, you know? From stuff like that happening to us all the time, we're already kinda, you know, sh tick, you know, shady. Like, we're already ready on the defense. My so work, I should say, every day is, is training day. And every day needs to be on an, uh, every day needs to be training. You see what I'm saying? I'm a beast on the track. Right. I, my shirt said, I would, I would set the shirt all week just to get motivated because that's how hard it is to motivate yourself. To go yeah, but you just had a baby. It doesn't matter. Just because guess who's not gonna care? All the people that are like, oh my god. And now the people can just put you on Twitter and say exactly what they think. And just say, bitch, you and fat. It's, like, it's just like, that's <laughs> so awful. Bitch, you ugly. And I hate, that's why I'm in the. Right. I just push block and then I keep moving. I don't argue with them. I don't go back and forth with them. I go, oh wow. And then I'm lying. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna, because here's why I don't do it. I'm not, I don't walk around with security all day. I don't roll like that. I'm, I like to be right. Because how about this? I'm in the grocery store two days ago. See what I'm saying? Looking toe up from the floor. I'm walking out the door. Nikki, Nikki, 
Oh, shit. Mail for a Right. On the first day. And I turn around and I see the guy. I see the voice it may be coming from, but I don't recognize him. So I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, hey. We friends on Twitter. It's me. Like, I'm supposed to be like, oh. And of course, I said, oh, and he reached in for a hug. And I'm like, That's why I'm arguing with him because we can, I can be in the parking lot. They see and you everywhere. If I argue with you, maybe I argue with you, and then you walk up to me and I'm with my baby. And you bust me and say, I'm gonna come in. I hear this call. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> y'all won't let me. What you gonna do? Come on, yeah. I bet y'all will. Oh, yeah, I bet y'all will. What you gonna do? Fight the white angel? Yeah. I'm not a light one. They'll let me. I'm not a light one. I'm not a bitch. You can't go home. Okay. First, you have to get past me. But I don't want that. You know, I don't want that. It's very dangerous. And I'm always kind of scared. Because you just never know. Working with a bunch of women, that that's not gonna work. And if we don't fix this, it's gonna be. It ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna be good. I'm. I'm. I'm willing to fix it. I'm willing to heal from within, inside out. So, <laughs> I have no problem with anyone, and I feel that we can fix anything. However, you know, I'm. I'm ready for whatever. Let's just say that. I've always missed that. You know, you wish you had mentors and stuff. Right. I never yeah. had mentors. Right. And my father is my mentor. Right. But that's the point of us coming together. Yeah. So we can we mentor have the young girls that are coming. And have each other. And we got each other. To know that we are all going through the same things. We are one. Because yeah. people really think they know, but they really don't they have no know. idea. But they about to get a peek into the diary of some demons. They about to get a peek into the diary of some demons.